um, Donovan is like just really blossoming, um, you know, in the last in the last couple of weeks. And, and tonight he just kind of took over. I couldn't. Who who was who's blossoming? You said. I said Donovan is really blossoming in his Donovan. game the last couple of weeks, and he's kind of really taken over. What's he doing right out there, and what does it mean for you guys long term? Well, we're not worried about long term right now. Um, we're worried about you know each game, and that's one of the things Donovan's been. He's been locked in, you know, possession by possession. Um, you know, I think his efficiency in pick and roll is something he he takes great pride in. Um, you know, I thought you know his ability to get people involved and you know and then pick his spots, you know, particularly when he fills the game and not forcing himself on the game. So. Um, you know, he, his Donovan, you know, I think like our team, you know, he just wants to get better and, you know, he's not going to be satisfied and, you know, improvement, you know, we've talked about it. It's, it's not linear, you know, and you, you go through things, especially, I think we forget sometimes that he's such a young player, um, because really from his rookie year, he's been asked to do so much. So, you know, you put yourself in that situation and, um, you know, you hold yourself accountable as much as anything. And, you know, that's what he's done. And you, know, you see it on the defensive end, too. I told him that before the game. You know, his presence defending is also something he's taken pride in. So I thought maybe a signature play in the game, frankly, um, late. They, they switched, um, you know, a small, small pick and roll. And Rudy sprinted up from the baseline and got a good, clean screen. And Donovan rose up and hit a three. So, you know, those two guys being connected, um, you know, it's something I know the two of them, you know, take pride in, and it's a big thing for our team. Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, Quinn, you guys have been uh, pretty excellent in third quarters all season long, and tonight, again, you put in 42 points on efficient shooting. What's kind of been the secret to coming out and, and being able to kind of turn it up so effectively after halftime? Well, I, I think... You know, our guys, you know, they talk to each other and, you know, whether it's a, you know, an adjustment, you know, a general adjustment with the team, but more importantly, um, they, they're figuring stuff out amongst themselves and those tiny things that they recognize and do, um, you know, is something that, that I think helps us. And more than anything, I just think there's a pride in, in our level of focus and, you know, that's something that, 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 that you've seen, um, you know, as much as the third quarter, I thought the way we we started the game tonight, they were six for seven out of the gate. We had a couple breakdowns and we just didn't let that impact us. We, we, we started defending better. And, and that, that's that's the biggest key. We've come out and guarded either at the beginning of the game or the beginning of the third quarter tonight. We didn't do it at the beginning of the game, but we did it in the third quarter. And, you know, I thought we the only thing we, we, we fouled too much. But other than that, I thought we really kept our poise. Ben Anderson, KSLSports.com. Quinn, what did you see from Mie and his defense specifically? He just works, you know. It, it's it's something, whether it's two minutes or three minutes or ten minutes, um, you know, Mie's taking pride in, you know, what he can do to help us win. And oftentimes that's taking a matchup. Um, you know, he's made some great plays on the offensive glass. You know, I thought George as well, um, you know, sometimes rebound is just, you know, is, is will. And uh, those types of plays, particularly from Mie, you know, give us a big lift. And we got a few second chance points tonight. Um, and that was really good to see. Mark Medina, USA Today. Hey, Quinn, um, where have you seen uh, continuity go into play in the early success of the season? I mean, given the unique circumstances of this whole year. Well, you know, we've had a different a different path in that, um, you know, we had a, a really a new team last year and trying to figure out, you know, the way that we wanted to play, how we wanted to play together, different combinations. And then, you know, Mike was out for a little bit. We just, we traded for Jordan. Um, you know, and then the, the COVID situation hit and, and we lost Boyan. So um, th the continuity is something that our guys, I think, have committed to as much as it is. If you, you look at our, our, our roster, there's some key guys that have played together for a few years. Um, but 
whether it's Boyan coming back this year, you know, JC's taking great pride in this defense. I, I think the continuity as much as anything is, you know, this, this team wanting to develop an identity, um, you know, that we can run and, and take our shots, but that we can also defend. And that's to me where the continuity shows up more than anything is uh, on the defensive end. And obviously, you know, the identity of this group is, has evolved and hopefully will continue to. Last question, Tim Bontemps, ESPN. Hey, Quinn, sort of along those lines, uh, I know, like you said, you're a guy that always is focused on kind of what the day that's in front of you. Um, but as you're in the middle of a run like this that you're in and you're kind of seeing what your team is doing on a day-to-day -day basis, how, how does it feel to be able to see that identity kind of coming together as it is now and translating the way it is on the court on a daily basis? Well, you know, anytime you see a team – kind of mold itself, um, you know, for the players and the coaches, that's that's a gratifying, you know, whether you're winning or losing, um, you know, a team that collectively tries to play a certain way and is committed to that. And I think that's, that's what we have. And it's a group that isn't, you know, concerned with our record, our win streak. Obviously, we want to win, um, but I, I think the focus is, is really squarely on, on getting better and, um, you know, it's a challenge to do that um, when you're playing well, but there's always room, you know, to improve. And I, I think these guys have really internalized that. All right. That's it. Thank you, coach. Yeah. Thank you.